Good afternoon and welcome to my Facebook Live today. Um, now I'm just going to quickly find us on my tablet just so then I can see as people come on. Let's pop that over there. Please, if you're on here for the first time, uh, say hello. I'd uh, love to know um, who you are and where you are from. Now I'm going to get started today fairly quickly, so I'm just going to flip my camera over now. So uh, just give me one moment. Okay, so again, welcome. Um, we're going to be looking at today Hello Ladybug, which is in the mini catalogue. So it is on page, it's up towards the front. If you've got your catalogues and oh, getting close. There we go, on page 20. So this is Hello Ladybug. You can purchase this as a bundle. Comes with a photopolymer stamp set as well as a punch to punch out your ladybug. So um, we're going to have a little bit of a play. Now this is my first time playing with this. I have got an idea put together. So um, let's have a go. Now I'll notice that that light is flickering. So just let me see if I can move that out of the road or a bit higher up. I hope that makes that lot better for you. So if there's any problems, please let me know. Okay, so we're going to play with this ladybug now to purchase this bundle. Um, for the bundle, it's $56.50 here in Australia or $68.25 um, in New Zealand. Now, if you go onto my shop, which you'll find the link for above, um, you can purchase this from me if you're here in Australia. So um, also too, if you don't have a demonstrator and you'd like a copy of the catalogue, please uh, let me know and um, we can get one out to you. So let me remove that out of the road. The other product we're going to be using today is um, a gingham check uh, from the party pattern paper, which is in the um, back of your catalogue. Now I'm just noticing my tablet has frozen. This is a product that you can purchase when you spend $250 or more. You get um, $25 to spend. Now this one here is the Pattern Party. It's a 12 by 12 um, pack of paper. There's quite a bit in it. It's 48 sheets and it's got four of each design in there and it's $31. So you would have to have a sales of around about $310, three or 300, yeah, 310, $350 to get this one for free. So worthwhile thinking about it. If you're interested in um, placing an order or having a party yourself, if you live locally to me, or even if you just want some catalogues and share it with your friends and place an online order under me, then you can look at getting that. So um, please contact me to ask me more. <clears throat> so as I said, we're going to be having a look at the Hello Ladybug. It is a photopolymer. So in my playing today, you will notice that my stamps have stained a little bit because um, anything with a red base or a pink base is going to stay in your photopolymer. Now that's okay, don't worry, it's no need to panic or anything like that. It doesn't come off um, and it won't transfer to another design. It's just that it does retain the pink no matter how much you try to clean that off. The other one is I'm using stays on ink um, because I just liked the the thickness of the stays on ink on my um, ladybugs. So the stays on will also tend to um, stain your stamps so again don't panic um, it doesn't come off and it won't transfer to any other work that you have now I'm sorry there is a little bit of glare there in my stamp set okay so I've pulled out some of the stamps that we're going to be using today and a sentiment and we're going to be using the punch so let's get started and I'll show you the cardstock we're going to be using so what I have here I have a card base of uh, what color did I choose for that that was garden green so it's a garden green card base I've chosen real red as a mat for my insert and basic white as um, for my insert for my insert of the card so that will go on the inside of the card 
Now, measurement wise, the garden green is 10 and a half centimeters by 29.9, and I've scored that at 14.9 centimeters in the middle um, and folded that. So that's your tent fold card. Your card inserts, my basic, uh, my real red is um, 10 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters. And my basic white, I've cut that down three millimeters narrower. So that is 9.7 millimeters by 14.1. Sorry, I've just, I went swimming this morning. So I'm sort of um, still a little bit fuzzy. <laughs> Okay, then I have a piece of real red also for the front of my card, and that is also measuring the same measurements. So that's 10 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters, and also my basic white is the same size as the insert piece, which is 9.7 by 14.1. I've then cut a little piece of the gingham in the party plan paper. So with all these papers, you've got a print on one side and a black and white design on the other. And I've chosen the gingham one here. And this is four, four centimetres in width by your 14.1 in depth. So that is going to be placed there. And then we're going to be needing some scraps of cardstock. So I've got a scrap of my basic white and I have got a scrap of um, my basic black as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out or punch out our ladybug body. And I found it a lot easier to do this in the basic black than trying to stamp it. I couldn't get a clear enough image stamping it. So I thought the basic black will actually look probably a lot better. So I'm just going to punch that out in your basic black. Pop that all to one side. And now we're going to stamp some of our ladybug now i'm going to be using as i said my stays on ink for the dots now patty bennett the other day was saying it's a lot easier to use your um to stamp your dots first and i had a go and she is right not that i doubted her but um it is a lot easier if you can stamp your dots first i'm just going to stamp it this way got a little bit more room so I'm going to stamp my dots. So I've got some beautiful crisp black dots there. And then I'm going to bring in my real red ink, which is the color I'm going to do his wings. So I'm going to ink that up quite well. And I'm going to line up the dots because you can see through your photopolymer stamp and you can line up where the dots go through your photopolymer and then stamp down. Just leaving that there for a couple of minutes or seconds just to allow that ink to adhere to my cardstock. Beautiful, I'm a little bit out, but that's okay. I mean, if you wanted to, you could try it again. Oh, and you don't do what I just do and put your black ink straight into your real red. Okay, we'll just clean that off. We'll get my stays on again. Just having one of those days today, I think. I'm trying to build up the number of laps that I'm doing swimming and uh, today I added an extra two laps to my tally which is good but it just leaves me feeling a little bit washed out for the rest of the day so um, unfortunately that's how I'm feeling at this moment so let's just try this again and seeing if we can line this up so again, I'm sorry if my head is going to be in the road. I'm just going to line up those dots. And stamp down. There we go. Beautiful one that time. So 
So what we're going to do is punch him out. So I'm just going to just trim around him a little bit. Now I have got a little bit of a trick to show you in regards to putting a smaller piece of paper into your punch because you're here, you've got nothing here really now to hold on to. So what I like to do is get myself a post-it note And I like buying these little ones here for this sort of thing. I'll just peel off one of those. And I'm just going to pop that in there. And that's going to act like a handle. So now I can just pop that in there, move that around and line it up. And I'm just using this piece here as a handle to position it. Once I'm happy, I then push that down just so it's holding it in place and then push, punch it out, and there's our ladybug's wings. Okay, so next thing we have to do is I want to stamp a leaf. So I've got, I'm just going to clean these two stamps down straight away just so I don't put my hands into it now if you do have a bit of stays on cleaner you could probably put a bit of stays on cleaner on that to get a little bit more of the black out but just make sure that you do wash your stamp quite well because stays on has got like a chemical in it or stays on cleaner um, and if you don't wash it off it could deteriorate your photopolymer stamp so we don't want to see that happening so please make sure that you clean that really really well with some fresh water if you've used stays on to try to get that black off okay then so i'm going to get some garden green because that's the color of our card base and i'm going to stamp the large leaf So I'm just trying to make sure I get a good coverage. Now the only thing I haven't done here, because we're using a photopolymer stamp, and when we're stamping with photopolymer, we should always have a mat, foam mat underneath, because our photopolymer stamps don't have that, whereas our red rubber does. And using a large stamp, I'm better off having, you can get away with some of the times with the smaller stamps, but, and with um, wording I find, but using a big stamp like this, which has got a lot of area, I want to make sure that I'm getting as good a sponging, sponginess underneath it as possible, just to give it a little bit more. I'm just making sure that that's well inked. And we're just going to pop that down onto that. Now I do have some areas there that have come up a little bit white, so we'll wait and see how this comes out. Yeah, I do have a bit of whiteness there. I'm just going to flip this over. Good thing about working with basic white cardstock, you can just turn it over and re-stamp on the other side. Let's just see if we get a better image this time round. I think I will. Lovely. That will lighten a little bit as that dries. And we are going to fussy cut that leaf out. So we're just going to go around that, just leaving just a small edge. And all I'm doing is just going around with my scissors. I'm letting my hand here do all the work as far as moving it in and out. And all I'm doing is just slowly closing the scissors. I'm not taking the scissors around the image. And if I end up being a little bit close like I am at the moment, I am not going to worry too much about it. Now I'm just going to cut away a little bit of this excess cardstock, just the fact that it's, it is getting in my road a bit. So I'll just pop that over to one side. So I hope you're all having a lovely day.
and you've got nice weather it's just a little bit overcast here in the southern highlands today so um we've had lots of rain over the last few days i'm just hoping it doesn't rain too much more over the next few days because we've got the weekend coming up and it'd be nice to have a, a lovely weekend not that i'm going anywhere or doing anything special so again i'm just following this leaf design all around just turning my paper and every now and then just stopping to open those scissors up again just to Now you can leave as much or as little white area as you want around your image and I'm happy with that except for that little bit just there I just want to take a little bit of squareness off that just beautiful so there's our leaf so the next thing I want to do I'm going to get my piece that's going to go on the front and I'm going to stamp on there. Now this time I'm going to use my memento. And all I want to stamp on here is my sentiment. So I'm just going to ink that up. Make sure that's got good ink coverage on my stamp. Just line that up. And again, I'm just going to stamp this just over this side here. Now what I've done here is I've taken two of the stamps, the hello and my friend, and I've placed them together on the block. And that way I only need to stamp it the once. Um, so you you know I've lined it up on the grid paper. So I'll just show you very quickly how I did that. I'll just clean off the stamp so I don't get any ink on myself. We'll remove this for the moment. So what I did was I took my hello, turned it upside down and laid it down on my grid paper. And then my friend and placed it up as close as I possibly could underneath the hello. You might need a pair of scissors because I find when these stamps are fairly new, they're very sticky and they will stick to you. Once you've lined that up where you want it, it's just a matter of placing your block over the top and picking that up. Now you can test that and I can see on there that I've got that a little bit crooked. So I'm just going to pick up my hello and just pop it on there and straighten that up a little bit. So that's all I did with that by using the two, the two words I wanted to put on there. Hello, my friend. So let's just bring our card front back in. And what I'm going to do is we're going to have this piece adhered to there and our leaf is going to be there. Now I've got here Mango Melody and we're going to stamp some flowers. So there's a couple of different types of flowers in this stamp set. You have this large one here and then the group of the three smaller ones. We're going to use this grouping here for our stamps so this is just giving me an idea of where this is all going to go so i'm going to remove all of that and i want stamp there again i just want to see where this is all going to sit because i do want more of these flowers poking out and I'm just going to turn my stamp around and we're going to pop another one just there that's going to sit there we're going to have that there and I think I do need to have some more Here. Stamp that again there. 
so let's have another look and see how we're going so that's going to sit on that edge there that's going to sit there and our lovely little ladybug is going to sit somewhere around here so i think we might need to put do we need to put any more or maybe just a couple just up there Just like that. I think that's going to be enough. Unfortunately, there's no little leaves or anything in this set to add. We do have a few little dots. I'm wondering how they would look. I need just a set of three dots. I just feel like it needs a little bit of green. in around those flowers so let me just grab that and we'll get this garden green again and we're just going to add we can just stamp it off so we just have it lighter Know some of these could get covered up but that's okay it's just sort of adding a little bit extra green type foliage So let's have a go, look and see how that's going to look. We can always add a bit more if need to. So let's adhere this down. This is a fairly simple card to make. Stamping Up have brought out a few cute punch bundles this season. So... Um, have quite a bit of fun with them I don't normally do a lot with punches but uh, I couldn't resist this one so that's going to go on there and then we're going to place that onto there now if you do miss this video I will up be uploading it to my blog and also to YouTube so you can catch this at a later time. I just grab also now the um, card insert and I'm going to stamp I think a couple little more flowers just to give a bit of interest and we might just pop a little bit of paper underneath so I don't get ink on the piercing mat I might just stamp off a little bit here and I think I might take these all the way, just turning it around, take them all the way up. That looks good. And we might add a little bit of those dots. Again, just stamping off, just randomly adding them around.
just like that and that's just adding a little bit of a border interest to the inside of our card so now we can mat that onto there And that can go straight onto the inside of my card. So I do have to line that up a bit more. It's beauty of using your multi-purpose glue doesn't take long you've got a few minutes there to line things up it's not going to adhere straight away okay so now we've got our front so let's pop this onto the front of our card again I'm just putting it directly to the front my card there like that again just moving it around until I'm happy with the position now we can grab our leaf pop a little bit of glue on the back of that and we can position this where we want that to go and I think we want it just around about there like so now with our ladybug I'm going to get some dimensionals pop a couple of dimensionals on the back of the wings oops that's a, that little bit of post-it note I didn't take off the back that I used as a handle we'll take just remove that there's another bit there and then we can position the wings just on that curve of his neckline just like that and then let's work out where we want him to sit and we can sit him just there and I think we're just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of him Pop him there on top of that leaf. And there's our ladybug. So as I said, just a very, very simple card today. Um, just wanting to keep it, it all relatively simple and easy. So that's the outside of our card. And there's the inside. You could very easily turn this around and have your gingham going across the width of your card. Um, and then do your flowers at the top um, you could add all sorts of things you could add a little bit of ribbon to this a bit of baker's twine if you wanted to um, and even color in some uh, Delmont or rhinestones with your blends if you wanted to add a little bit more color to that but I'm actually quite happy with that I wanted to keep it fairly simple and have a fair bit of white space in it um, so I hope you've enjoyed this card today and uh, as I said, if you wanted to purchase any of the products I've used today, you can do so um, by using the link that I have above. Hi Vicky, how are you? Glad you like my card. Let me just flip my camera over. Okay, hi Glenda, how are you? Um, so if you did miss my video today, you can jump on 
to YouTube sometime over the weekend. I have should have that all loaded up and it will be on my blog. So I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you've liked that card. If you make one yourself, please um, share it and link um, me into it so I can see what you've been making as well. So um, take care, have a great day, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.